Hello, I'm Tony Mamma with Airflow Research Cylinder Heads and uh, I'm going to give you the quick uh, tour of our cylinder heads here at SEMA 2012. Um, 23 degree heads would uh, kind of start here. We have our 180 heads and uh, we kind of move up in cc's and valve size depending on displacement of engines that you know you guys might be building. Uh, we also have uh, different levels of porting and pricing. Uh, here's a good example of that. This is our less expensive uh, 195 head. You can see it. The CNC porting levels are a little rougher. It's still a full CNC piece. Um, great value for the money. This is the. Uh, this would be the bang for the buck purchase right here. You can make a lot of power, and you're still only spending, uh, you know, roughly fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars. If you're looking for that last ten percent, you know, winning by another Fender or Carlin matters to you. We have a competition ported version of the same. It flows 10 or 15 more CFM. You can see the CNC levels are finer. Uh, the chamber almost looks polished. This is actually a very fine CNC. And uh, this head is about $500 more. And again, it's for that guy that's looking for every edge he can get to, uh, to make more horsepower. Uh, this kind of a scenario we have throughout the line uh, for most of our street heads. 180, 195, 210, and 220 are all our bolt-on street heads. And they all have this uh, race ready, we call this, or the competition package. Uh, then as we come around here, excuse me guys, <laughs> uh, we get into uh, more of our race line of cylinder heads, our 227, our 235, uh, in this particular case, we start moving valves for more performance. We'll, we'll move the intake valve closer to the center of the chamber, uh, I should say to the center of the cylinder, so it makes more room around here to allow more flow, more low and mid-lift flow. You, you're unshrouding the valve, that's typically called. Uh, the exhaust valve moves a little bit closer to the wall, uh, but we can still get some good numbers out of it, and it's more important to get the intake in. The exhaust typically finds a way out. Um, 235, same principle as this. The valves are in the same location. They're more unshrouded. A little bigger port. This is our largest cylinder head that we offer in a 23 degree bolt-on piece that accepts stud mount rockers. Uh, you do need an 050 offset stud mount rocker for this particular head, but they're reasonable. We sell them at Airflow for $325 or so. This is our uh, Probably our newest line in the small block Chevrolet. It's meant for very large motors, 427 or larger. Uh, this is a 245cc port. You can see with that, hopefully with that camera shot, that it's a pretty big bowl in there, and it's uh, got some good volume for a for a big motor. Uh, this particular head does not take stud mount rockers. You have to run a shaft mount. We do a lot of clearancing here for you at the factory, so you can run a shaft mount, offset rockers, and uh, and also put larger push rods in there for additional strength. Uh, this is a phenomenal head. This, this head is capable of supporting uh, approaching 800 horsepower, 750 to 800 horsepower, just depending on the combination. Uh, we'll move this way to the uh, LS line. Not as many options, not as many variables. Uh, we'll start here. This is a 210cc runner. Uh, it's a great bolt-on piece for a stock displacement motor, 346. This is a little bit larger version, a 215. If you have a hotter stock displacement engine, or say a 6 liter, where you're getting into like a, a newer uh, LS, this is a great choice. Then we kind of go up from there, 230 runner here and a 245 for a large displacement motor. This head is also capable of 700 plus and um, catering also to the, to the larger displacement engines. Also, let me uh, touch on the warranty also. We, uh, I think we're the only cylinder company in the business to offer a lifetime warranty. It's a lifetime warranty on the castings, two-year warranty on parts. And, uh, you know, we stand behind our product, uh, you know, pretty well.